Welcome back, everyone. This is Curry once again with Cherish Relics Boutique, coming to you today actually with a haul video as promised. Today I've actually gathered several of my inventory items, things that I have not listed yet, nor have I done videos on, um, that were all clearance, high clearance items from, you know, my thrift store shopping excursions. Everything in today's video is at least 75% off thrift store prices. Some are even 80 or even 90% off, which means, you know, the items today are excellent, excellent prices and beautiful things. So I'm really excited to um, share with you all of that um, fun stuff. So real quick before I get started, I wanted to remind you that for anyone interested in any item in this video or any of my videos for that matter, you can always look in the description of my video and find contact information for me. Um, that being said, I think we're going to um, get started. So um, like I said, I have an entire tub, like there's no way I'm even gonna get through it all tonight, but um, I will get started. So first item I'm gonna share with you actually, um, was a short choker necklace that I got for a um, dollar. It was 80% off and it has a lobster claw clasp. It is marked uh, 925, as you can see there. These are actual um, glass pearl beads, but these middle beads are actual freshwater pearls. And my guess is these are glass beads with an Aurora Borealis um, coating on it. I do not believe they are crystal, although, you know, crystal is in fact a form of glass. Um, if, as long as it's not rock crystal, of course, that would be quartz. But um, I believe that those are glass beads. So this is a 14 inch long, lovely necklace that I um, got for a dollar. So I thought that was a pretty good find. That's what we started with. Okay, it looks like I got a set of uh, Cloisonne bracelets here. Um, so they were about $4.25 total, 75% off uh, that price, and which would make them each about, you know, $1.50 each. So that was pretty good. Uh, they're all in really decent condition. And uh, I love the colors. I, I've never seen a lilac one of these. Um, and the colors on these seem to be a little bit more muted than some other cloisonne bracelets that I have found. But um, these are uh, quite lovely. Put them on this wrist. A little bit big for my wrist. Some of them, um, you know, actually come in smaller sizes. But Okay, let me check it real quick. Uh, it might even be a little bit bigger than eight and a half. I'm, it's about an eight and three quarters, I guess, is what those are. So those are pretty nice. So I've got this very heavy, significant, um, multi-strand uh, vintage necklace that I got for 90% off. So I paid $1.40 for this. It is very heavy. Um, the, 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 the larger strand here is actually individually knotted in between, as you can see. But that's a four strand necklace. I think it's much easier for me to show you on here. Still pretty small, so that doesn't really help. I probably won't keep everything in the screen because it tends to just be too much to show you things. So what I'll do is at the end, I'll bring them into the screen to share them again, because then I can have plenty of room to show you these items. Okay, four strands. I love the little, um, capped end pieces here with sort of a 
antiqued look to it. This is not sterling silver or anything. It does have a two inch extension, the lots to claw class, but it's really nice. Okay. This was an item that uh, cost me a whopping $2. Still has its price tag on it, or at least its uh, brand on it. 75% um, off. And these are some lovely um, pearl drop dangle earrings. I'm confident they're sterling silver, so let's open that up. It says... Uh, honor a collection. I guess that's how you, you say it. it. has so much luster. Um, they kind of have a kind of grayish and a, a purple tinted hue a little bit. I don't see anything that says sterling silver, nor on the back. Oh, I'm sorry, I lie. The um, back does say 925 right there. So I'm guessing that the earrings are as well. I'm sure they are not magnetic, but they're quite lovely. Brand new. Earring. And it's uh, looking like that. Nice little drop. Dangle pearl. All right, next we have 90% off for $1.40. I got this multi-strand bracelet. It was from a local consignment store. Actually, it's got a, a really lovely um, vintage style clasp there. And these are just plastic faux pearls. And my guess is that these beads are probably a glass um, bead within a, you know, AB coating. And the length of that bracelet is about seven and a half inches long. I got at my thrift store a really nice strand. Now these need to be cleaned desperately. This I know, but a really nice uh, three strand vintage crystal necklace, you know, with just your hook clasp back here on an extender. Very, very heavy, very, um, cold as well to touch. They're pretty sparkly now, but I know that if I, uh, you know, got it cleaned up, it would look even better. Okay, it definitely has a, an aged glass, it's seen better days. But this uh, necklace was priced originally as a, uh, hold on, I gotta get it off my necklace. It was priced originally as uh, $24.99. So I paid about $6.25 for that necklace. You know, maybe those of you in the comments can share with me your experience with, you know, vintage crystal necklaces, but I I personally do struggle quite often with being able to tell the difference um, between, uh, you know, glass faceted beads that look exact, like if I was comparing faceted beads and they were the exact same shape, they both had an AB coating, um, it, I struggle figuring out whether one's considered crystal or um, glass. Now, my guess is these are crystal because these are definitely, definitely old. 
but I know that when we say crystal, we're not talking about rock crystal. That's a, that's a different thing. And if it was rock crystal, um, it would be showing up as quartz or near quartz on my Presidium gem tester. And this, uh, this doesn't uh, register as anything when I test these beads, just the teeniest touch. So, you know, really the crystal necklaces we're talking about are in fact glass it's a type of glass but I guess back then it had more lead in it but anyways that's a beautiful necklace um something to learn I'd love some feedback in the comments about you know how you distinguish glass I know glass um beads are not as heavy as crystal beads um uh, but glass beads are still going to be cold just like crystal beads so I I definitely can tell the difference when they're um, plastic. That's very easy. There's no question. I know that there's talk of the the sound that they make when they hit each other, when it's a, 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 a glass bead versus a crystal bead, the sound is different. And I also understand that the cut of the um, individual beads could be much more, sh uh, you know, crisp, sharp edges on crystal beads rather than in glass, they're not as um, crisp. And I also know that, um, you know, when put in sunlight, that uh, the um, actual uh, crystal beads, I guess, reflect, you know, off a, a rainbow. Uh, like you see a rainbow as, as uh, you know, as you, as you do that. Look how dirty this is, it's so dirty here. I can't wait to put that in my cleaner, but uh, I, it's dark right now, so I can't go test and see if I see any rainbows in there, but I don't know. I, I, I spent about an hour reading about, you know, different types of crystal beads, and it still can be quite intimidating to me, but I believe that those are crystal, but I believe that these are glass. Why I think that, I don't know. Um, that's just how I feel. But you see, these look just as faceted as these. I mean, look, they're even like the same size. You know? How is one to know? Because they're both going to register the same on my gem tester. So I don't know. Just my little question of the day. So that's a really nice necklace. Okay, next I have a lovely brooch. That was a whopping dollar, because it was 75% off. I spent a dollar. This is, in fact, a Monet brooch, as you see the maker's mark there on the back. It's in pretty decent condition. I love the asymmetry to it, and it definitely sort of has like that rope texture appearance. Kind of, and it's normal um, safety clasp. So I thought that was a very nice brooch. Some people are more into brooches than others. I just think brooches are pretty. <laughs> I don't wear them a lot, but I love them <laughs> just the same. Okay, so like here's a necklace that seems to be a much more modern necklace. I um. This was a $16 necklace that I got 90% off, so I paid $1.60 on this. It doesn't have a um, maker's mark on it, but, you know, it makes me think that it's, you know, one of the women's stores, you know, like Talbots. I mean, usually those have, um, you know, hang tags on them. But these are glass beads. These are not plastic. Um, so really, these feel quite similar to the, the uh, crystal beads that I was just showing you, but these aren't as heavy. I do believe they're glass, and they are cold, but they're not as heavy. So anyways, but those are pretty. I love the colors of that, and it's got a, you know, a little tassel there doing its thing. So this whole necklace is not including the dangle. It is about 20 inches with a uh, about an inch and a half extender. Sorry, this is caught in something. So 
it's uh it's looking like that it's very nice and obviously that's deviled and i can't really smoosh it together so i'm guessing it's about 22 inches the longest one longest strand okay next i have a pair of on the card uh, kind of destroyed card but on the card kendra scott um, earrings they were uh, 90 percent off so i paid two dollars and 90 cents for them i'm going to keep them on the card just to show you because it's easier but uh it's got some little kind of pinkish peach rhinestones kind of um set in there and a little bit of, you know, um, mill grain details on the uh, outside of those earrings. Trying to get that to focus for you. There you go. That looks much better. Yep, so some simple hook earrings there for uh, $2.90. That's a good find. Okay, here we have another vintage necklace, crystal necklace. This... I paid two dollars for this is a much shorter necklace this is probably I'm guessing about 14 inches when it's all said and done Here. yes it's 14 inches but this feels heavy like the other vintage necklace that I showed you and so I can only make the guess and assumption, especially guessing on the fact that I know it's vintage with the um, type of closure that it has here, uh, that those are in fact, you know, crystal vintage beads, um, you know, glass crystal that is. So those are pretty. Another pair of earrings. I think that these are just some, you know, glass, you know, rhinestones with a, you know, those um, are just a, a faux pearl. I paid a dollar forty for these earrings. I think it's definitely easier to show you on the card. Yes, that's considered a level lever back earring closure. All right, next I have a uh, a, a seed bead, like very small beads. Uh, probably a handmade bracelet that I got for 50 cents, it appears. It's got a sort of ornate toggle clasp. My guess is it's handmade. I don't know if those are sterling silver or not. I'll have to test that. I don't see any 925 mark on there anywhere. But look at the amount of work that went into that bracelet. That's just extraordinary. Let's look at the length. It's pretty small. So yeah, like six inches. But it's uh, looking like that next to my watch. I wasn't going to attach it, but it feels kind of cool on my arm. Honestly, it feels like snake skin. Very, very cool. I, 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 I love that. Looks like we have a second pair of these Honora um, earrings. And this one I paid a whopping dollar fifty for. This is a lovely kind of goldish, uh, almost very light green pearl. They are authentic pearls. Um, the back is marked with a 925. I know that because the other one was. There you can see it there. 
And I'm confident this is 925 as well, although I don't see it, but I will test them. But uh, it's a nice new pair of um, pearl studs there. So each of those pearls are uh, 10 millimeters. So, very nice. All right, I believe everything in this bag was 75% off. So everything in here is tarnished. Got a couple pair of earrings and a, a ring. And uh, all of that was 40 bucks, but it was 75% off, so it was $10. I have not cleaned this tarnished jewelry as of yet back earrings that are looking like that almost like with a whole bunch of little coins on it even though I know they're not real coins because there's are only about they're very very small circles but uh, it's on a clip back earring don't know if there's a mark for 925 but I'm pretty confident that they are see anything on there. I like the little bit of swirl right up there at the top. I don't know, that kind of makes it a little bit more modern. They're cool. Then you have these very little dainty uh, sterling silver dragonfly dangle earrings that are looking like that. There we go. That's much better. So I know someone could enjoy that. So those are cute little dragonfly earrings. They are sterling silver. And then we have a ring here, pretty small ring. There's your 925 metal purity. It's sort of got some you know, I don't know, Aztec Southwestern, I don't know, and it's some sort of design around the outside of this band. I'm guessing it's probably about a size five. Oh, it's a size six. So, all right, sorry about that. I have returned. All right, on to the next. All right, so. <clears throat> This was a brooch that was marked as 20 and I got it for a uh, five. It was 75% off. So I definitely will be testing these gemstones that are in this. Okay, so let's see if I can see. Oh, there definitely is a, a maker's mark on here. It's not a maker's mark, it's a mark for gold filled 12 karat gold filled, one slash 20. Um, I didn't see any other marks on it. You know, those might just be plain rhinestones, but I think it's worth checking. All right, well look, it's got some really pretty, like this is like garnet slash ruby reddish. That's like teal, kind of a loose setting. I wonder if maybe all of these represented like a grandchild or something, because we do have some repeats. Four of those are sort of that. We've got two greens, a dark blue, a light blue. I wonder if they're like grandchildren or something. I don't know. But uh, they appear to just be rhinestones. Yeah, okay, but it's still cool, sparkly. Okay, I got these earrings for $2.50. They are twist back sterling silver leaf. I'm not, I'm sorry, scratch that. They're not leaves, leaves, they're um, feathers. Um, 
They are very, very tarnished as you see. So obviously I will need to clean those up before I list them. But uh, yeah, they're looking like that. Um, there was a mark here on the back that says Jewel Sterling. But they definitely say Jewel Sterling. And then there's like a number at the bottom. Oh, I am sorry. It says Jewel Art. I couldn't see the complete name of the uh, brand. So that's a, a vintage brand I'm unfamiliar with, but I will do a little research and find out a little bit more. But those are cool. Definitely old. Like I don't wear screw backs. I don't wear clip backs, you know. I know um, a lot of people out there will sometimes, you know, change certain earrings into normal pierced earring backs, but you know, I know there's a market out there for people who are definitely still looking for, you know, clip backs and twist backs and that sort of thing. All right, a bracelet I got 90% off for a dollar. These are not um, gemstones, they are plastic. This is just a very simple plastic gemstone faux bangle. No brand or anything that I see. So that's that, looking like that. Okay, so this is very interesting to me. I really think I should look this up with my Google lens. So they had this marked as 13. I got it for $1.30. And it is very unique bracelet. Uh, this is not sandstone, although at first glance I thought it was. It definitely has striations in those stones. This appears to be a Chico's bracelet. There it is. Beaded on one side with chain and charms on the other. A red Sophie bracelet adds color and movement to your look. Steel, zinc, jasper. There we go. Tiger's eye, which is what's going on here. All right, jasper. Red jasper. All right, good to know. It's definitely cold. It's a nice bracelet. It is in fact a stretch bracelet. Um, it's just pretty small, which is good because I have a small wrist. So I guess you'd wear it kind of with the charms on the top, I'm assuming, and the jasper on the bottom, no. Okay, so that's it, moving on. A multi-strand, beautiful uh, necklace here. I don't know, this was a $48 necklace um, that I got for $4.80. It is in fact a Kendra Scott necklace, as you can see there. Well, that comes up to quartz, so my instinct might very well be correct. Kendra Scott. Multi-strand necklace made with like a honey quartz or something in varied colors. I don't know, I assume that these are just glass beads in between. I think the only quartz parts, maybe the round ones, oh, those are also quartz, the round. So there's a clear quartz. Okay. Uh, 
it's about 21 inches by the time that this is like deviled. Like I'm not doing it flat deviled, so I know it's actually a little bit longer than I'm measuring it. But anyways, okay. Kendra Scott, got it. So I'll just uh, show you these last two items and um, then you can be coming back for a part two. These were some earrings that desperately need to get cleaned. Um, they were $14, I got them 90% off this, so they were uh, $1.40. I don't, they, they, they look kind of brass-like to me. Um, they are not magnetic, and I know that if we clean them up, they would look much different. But look at that beautiful filigree detail on that um, hook earring. I'm tempted to, real quickly, just do a quick acid test on them. I'm just curious if they're... Oh, that's exactly what they are. So I see the vermeil is scratching off as I rub these so hard. I shouldn't have done it so hard. It's my fault. And underneath I, I see silver, which tells me it's just vermeil. A gold plate over silver, definitely. So that's what the um, earrings are. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Nine two five earrings for a dollar forty. So this last item is a really lovely Silpata um, necklace. I paid a dollar fifty for ninety percent off. You can see it's. Um, got a Silpata hang tag right here, as well as on the other side, it, side, it does say 925. It is extremely tarnished, so I have to clean it up quite a bit. All right, so this is what I've found out about this Silpata necklace. I got some values ranging from anywhere from $30 to $85. Anyways, I believe that this is some type of glass, unless there's another gemstone that doesn't register on the Presidium Dentester because it registers as glass. I believe that those are turquoise. I believe that those are honey, am, uh, honey um, jasper. I believe that those are uh, amber. And I believe this is a Silpata necklace that I could probably sell for 50 bucks. And it's quite nice. So that being said, let me put all my goodies up here on the screen and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, so I've laid it all out. You can see the treasure um, that I've gathered here of all these amazing deals. And I actually went back and used all my price tags and added it all up. So all of these gorgeous things cost me $53 and 20 cents. Um, many of which are sterling silver, name brand items, vintage items, lovely things, totally worth it to me. So I hope you enjoyed this share of, you know, thrift store sale prices. Um, I will come back another day and share the other half of this. Anyways, Thanks for joining me and uh, reach out if you have any questions and be sure to give me a like on your way out or a follow even if this is, um, you know, content you're interested in. You guys have an excellent evening.